Sakafets YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let's cook with me from start to finish. darlings a lot of you have been complaining that you miss my voice so here it goes today we're making some roast beef and the first thing i want to do is to start by cleaning my beef i'm just gonna go ahead and use some lime juice as well as some vinegar and just wash it down to get rid of any slime any little impurities and the lemons really help tenderize it and clean it a bit Once I was done, I just used some clean paper towels just to top off any excess moisture and I'm gonna season this really lightly using some sea salt and some black pepper. Make sure to season on both sides. I don't really think that you need to use lots of seasonings. However, if you'd like to use garlic powder, paprika and all these other powdered seasonings, feel free to do so. And if you want to keep it as nice and simple as I did, salt and black pepper is perfect. added some oil to a pot and I'm just gonna go ahead and just brown the meat on both sides as I find that browning the meat really helps to seal in and lock in all that flavor. Once I've flipped it over to one side, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some butter, some thyme, some garlic cloves and just baste that beef with it so that it remains nice and juicy. For additional ingredients, you're going to need one whole onion that I rough chopped into four and some carrots. Since my beef was browned on all sides, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my slow cooker, followed by my carrots and my onions. To the same pot that my beef was in, I'm just gonna go in with a little cooking wine and I'm just gonna let it reduce for about 2 minutes before pouring it over my beef.
Now going to fill up the pot with some beef stock till everything is fully covered and then I'm gonna put in some thyme stalks as well as one scotch bonnet pepper and some rosemary and just let that cook on low heat for about six hours. Whilst my beef was cooking, I waited till the last half an hour before it was done and I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. Boil your potatoes in some water and salt as well as some mixed herbs for about 10 minutes. Here I'm gonna also steam some green beans with a little bit of butter and some garlic cloves, black pepper if you're feeling fancy and just let that steam covered for about I'd say 5 to 6 minutes, not very long at all. Once my potatoes were cooked, I drained off any water and I added in some butter and I'm just gonna mash it really well. I'm also gonna add in some heavy cream or double cream, whatever cream you wanna add and just mix it in well. So this is my beef all done after about 6 hours, oh my goodness it was so tender and falling apart. Guys this was cooked in so much flavor, you can't imagine how wonderful my kitchen smells. It's gonna be time to plate it up and yes my darlings, get rid of the rosemary and thyme and yes let's plate it up. Look at how soft and tender, add a generous amount of mashed potatoes, add as much as you like to your own preference, make sure to add in some of those greens delicious serving of that beautiful roast beef and yes my darlings don't forget the gravy you know we have to go heavy-handed on the gravy really hope you enjoyed this recipe try it soon let me know how you like it it has been a pleasure having you back in my kitchen and i can't wait to see you again next time thank you for watching Bye bye